Diamond in the Rough is the 22nd episode of the second season of The Golden Girls. This is directed by Terry Hughes and as always there will be spoilers from now as I talk about the episode. It's not a very funny episode. There were some funny moments but it's definitely a very thought-provoking one. Everybody is planning this upcoming banquet and the person from catering arrives. This is a character called Jake, played by Donnelly Rhodes, and pretty quickly Blanche gets a date with him. And then we are at the restaurant, and it's not exactly Blanche's idea of a fancy restaurant. And things are not going great, but they seem to be getting along well. And then she notices that he has a, a tattoo of a nose on his arm and that's just another thing on this evening that makes Blanche wonder whether this is the person she wants to be with and then we cut to a little while later and Dorothy and Rose are auditioning for the band for the banquet and then Blanche comes into the kitchen while they're having cheesecake and shares her concerns with them and she's concerned that Jake is from a different breeding and she lists off a few reasons why it's not necessarily that Blanche thinks she's better than him but that definitely is what's coming across but I think it's more just about the fact that they're from different backgrounds and she's worried that over time that will become more and more apparent and Jake then arrives and he is filthy but it's because somebody had problems with their car so he stopped to help them and I really like that they included that because Jake in my opinion Jake has come off as nothing but nice and honestly everybody else thinks he's really nice as well and I like the fact that they then also included him helping out somebody in their time of need further saying that even though he may not be as well bred as Blanche and I'm putting that in air quotes that doesn't mean he's not as nice as her not as kind as her maybe even kinder than her because he's not the one who's judging somebody and I think that that was a, a, a really nice thing to include there and he manages to say a few things that win Blanche back over and then we're moving quite quickly with time several weeks have passed by this point and it's getting closer to the banquet and Blanche reveals to the others that she's not actually going to the banquet with Jake Jake will be there because he's doing the catering but she's not going with him, which seems like it will be kind of awkward. But she's not actually told him this yet. And he arrives and Blanche, to her credit, she tells him that she doesn't want to go to the banquet with him. And she does mention that it's because of the the mannerisms, the way he behaves, the way he acts. And I admire her for being truthful. But at the same time, it doesn't come off as very nice. And then Jake revealed that he was actually about to propose to Blanche. I have to say that that's moving quite quickly. That's definitely moving quite quickly. And it's a little bit awkward. And Blanche can't stop thinking about Jake. She feels awful, but she doesn't necessarily think she did the wrong thing. But she's a little bit confused. But then we have the banquet and we get to see some gorgeous costumes. I love one of my favourite things. One of my many favourite things about the Golden Girls is that whenever they have a formal event to go to, there is so much glitter and sequins and everybody just sparkles and I absolutely love it. And we're at the banquet and actually before that we have a moment in the kitchen where everybody's talking about what they'd want second time around and Blanche further shows her confusion by not really knowing what it is that she wants, but she is certain that it's not Jake. But then we get to the banquet and she's second guessing her previous judgment and I think Jake handled this in the perfect way because Blanche goes up to Jake and she tells him she made a mistake and that had to take some guts to tell somebody that you don't want to be with them because they're beneath you. She didn't use those words, but that's certainly the way it would have come across to then go up to them and say, I was wrong to say that. That, that takes some guts and Jake, I think, did the right thing and basically told her, it was an issue before, it will be an issue again. I want to be with somebody who likes me for who I am. And and I think he handled it he handled it very well. I think he had every right to be really hurt and he was very mature about it. And I think that was pretty great. And then we end the episode with Dorothy providing Blanche with some words of comfort and reassuring her that there will always be men there for her and that Jake wasn't the one for her, there will be others and it was a nice way to end things. So it's maybe not the funniest episode, 
But I definitely think it's quite thought provoking, both in terms of whether or not somebody actually knows what they're looking for, and also whether or not there are right and wrong ways to date somebody who has, as Blanche put it, different breeding. And and should that matter? Does that matter? To Blanche, clearly it did matter. But I imagine to a lot of people, it wouldn't. It wouldn't matter. But I don't think there's a, a right or wrong answer. I think there's a right and wrong way of handling it. And Blanche maybe didn't use the right words. But I do think that Jake handled things for his part fairly well. So an interesting episode, maybe not the funniest. We did have some good moments, but certainly Diamond in the Rough was one that was, I think, handled quite well and definitely very thought-provoking. 